Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And what do we have here? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can update your Open Core Legacy Patcher installed Mac OS on your unsupported Mac. So here it is. As you can see, this is the mid 2015 MacBook Pro. Now, officially, the maximum version of macOS which you can install on this one here is macOS Monterey. But we are running macOS Ventura by using Open Core Legacy Patcher or OCLP. If you're interested in that video, how to do it for the first time, you can find that video in the description of this video. But in this video, we are going to show you how you can update an Open Core Legacy Patcher build. So we are in the general settings right now. So here in let us go back and then we can go into software update. Now you will notice that I should have an update for Mac OS Ventura version 13.2 is available. So what are we going to do? We're going to select update now and we are going to agree to the terms and conditions and there it is, as you can see on your screen right now, macOS Ventura 13.2 is being downloaded and it is telling me it's going to take around five minutes for me. For you, the time might be different based on your internet speeds. Now, once macOS Ventura 13.2 was downloaded successfully, it is now preparing it. So that will take some more time. So patience is the key over here. Now, once that finished, you can see I'm getting a notification that it is going to restart my computer. And on the top right, I have a countdown timer. Now, do note for my open code legacy patcher, I do not have the boot menu enabled. I want it to be as seamless as possible. So I am going to select restart now and then let's see what happens. So there it is, you can see that once I selected restart now, the Mac is restarting and now we are on the Apple logo with a progress bar. Now, once you click on the restart button, your Mac is obviously going to restart, but there are going to be multiple restarts. You'll see a progress bar, a progress bar and an Apple logo, but eventually you will land on a screen like this, wherein it will tell you how much time is remaining so patience is the key over here so there it is we are now on the login screen let me log into my account and it is asking me to sign in with my apple id i am going to select over here set up later next up it is asking me about encryption me i prefer to keep it turned off so i turned it off and now I'm going to select continue and here it is we are now back into Mac OS the system does seem a bit slow we can of course go into the settings and check what version we are on so let us okay so we got a pop-up about open core legacy patcher and it is telling me that it has detected that we are running it without any patches the post install patches which are now needed so here and we are going to select okay and i think we also need to update to the latest version of open core legacy patcher it is taking us to the github page so on this page all you need to do is download the latest version so let us go into the assets section and this zip file is the one which we want so we are going to select it wait for it to download and while it is downloading in the meantime let us go into the general settings and we can go into about and check our mac os version so here it is mac os as version 13.2 so we have successfully updated to ventura 13.2 let us now see if our latest open code legacy patcher has downloaded so yes it has downloaded successfully this here is the zip file let us go ahead and unzip it and then we can open it all right so it is telling us you downloaded it from the internet do you want to open it of course we do need to open it and 
Next up, let us go into the post install root patch section. And as you can see, it is telling me that there's a patch available for graphics, which is why I think the resolution changed. So let us say start root patching and we are going to say yes over here. And of course, because you're trying to run it as root, you do need to enter your password. And then we are going to select OK. And as you can see, the root patching process has now started and we need to select OK over here. And then it is asking us, are you ready to reboot? And we are going to select reboot. All right, so we have rebooted and the resolution now seems to have fixed. And there it is peeps, as you can see that the resolution has fixed. We also got the latest version of Open Code Legacy Patcher, no more post boot patches are available and we have successfully updated our macbook pro from 2015 over here running an unsupported version of mac os using open code legacy patcher and we updated from mac os ventura 13.1 to mac os ventura version 13.2